why would Web3 social media be a better model than Web2 social media? Yeah, I think we're already seeing that play out right now where in Web3 social media, like in the early examples that we have seen of this, including Lens and Farcaster, what's really novel about it is that the social graphs are either on-chain today or could potentially be on-chain in the future. And what that enables for users is that they can use any client and not have to start from a cold start where all of their connections, their content, their data is already pre-populated into the app because they're built on-chain or through an open protocol. And that's a completely different paradigm than Web2 social networks where all of users' data and connections and identity is in a centralized database. It's owned by a centralized company. Um, so that portability element is one major value proposition of a crypto social network. Um, I've also written about the idea of asset first social or asset first approaches to building and consumer crypto, where the leading value proposition is less around portability or interoperability and more around the crypto assets themselves, where products might appeal to users' desire for profit and make certain things within the social networks tradable and create markets around them so that users can actually earn money from the platform. And so it's more financialized and, and a leading value proposition there is that users can actually earn from using a social product. And I, I don't think these paths are mutually exclusive. I think you're seeing products that combine those elements. Um, but yeah, I, I think in terms of like, why do we need blockchains? I, I think there's a whole range of value propositions that you can offer to users and developers from composability and interoperability to appealing to this desire for profit um, and financial gain through novel assets.